Yeah, it was definitely a goal of mine, but you know, I look at it as look at it as, you know, that's one of my milestones, my milestones that I didn't achieve. So basically I feel like, you know, I just gotta go back to practice, work even harder, you know, because I still have more goals that I wanna be able to achieve throughout this season. And I'm happy for Dylan, he deserves it. You know, he's been playing very well throughout the whole season and the other guys that's on the list as well. You know, I'm not knocking nobody. You know, they've been playing great, so <clears throat> I just feel like it wasn't my time this time. So back to the drawing boards, seeing what I can do better and continue to work hard. I see him grow tremendously. I feel like, you know, he feed off me a lot. He listens. You know, he's one of those quiet guys who takes a lot of stuff in. So I feel like, you know, his work ethic shows. You know, I practice every day. He works hard. He pushed me to work hard. I push him even the days when we don't want to do it. We push each other. So I feel like, you know, he just been – He's just been doing what he's supposed to do throughout the whole season, and it's been paying off for him. That means a lot, you know. Because everybody back home is Auburn, Alabama fans, so if we lose like last year, you know, they're going to make a big deal about it. They're going to talk about it all year. And the same for some of my friends that play at Auburn. So it's definitely, you know, a big challenge. And, you know, we look forward to competing against each other on Saturday. Uh, we, it just goes back to just, you know, staying disciplined, you know, playing with good eyes and stuff like that. So we just got to make sure that we communicate all across the board and make sure that we continue to just go out and compete and work hard throughout the week so that we can prepare, prepare ourselves for Saturday. <laughs> I feel like they, you know, a great offense. They haven't lost too much from last year. Obviously, they lost carry on. So, but overall, I feel like they've been doing a great job with their offensive scheme, Jared been playing pretty good, and they got a lot of, you know, key guys on their offense that can make plays in the open field. So I feel like, you know, we just got to go out with a great game plan and execute very well. Yeah, definitely. I feel like he's a great quarterback. I mean, some people don't have seasons as they expected to have, so you just got to, you know, continue to work hard no matter what nobody says. So we, we respect him because of what he did last year and what he's been able to do this year. Obviously, they didn't start off the season as fast as they wanted to, but you can see, like, every week they got better. So it's not one of these games where we go in sleeping and underestimating anybody. You know, we go in there and compete, have fun, and hopefully dominate the game. Uh, I remember my, I think I was in the 10th grade when the kick six happened, I think, at Auburn with Chris Johnson. I mean, even though I was an Alabama fan, it was just, you know, a crazy environment to be in to see that happen. That was, yeah, I was as a recruit. We don't rub it in each other's face as much. You know, last year, even though they beat us, every time they'll say something, me and Rose always say we won the national championship, so it don't matter. But, uh, you know, it's something that we enjoy. We don't never, like, really get too sensitive about the situation. They beat us fair and square. So, you know, when we talk about the game, I just say things we did wrong and things we could have done well. So, I mean, it's nothing to just, you know, brag about. It's just something we probably talk amongst each other about. I can say, like, uh, I watched him growing up. Uh, he really wasn't, like, into football like that, but he played for a, a little team back home called the Montgomery Chiefs. And then through junior high, I don't think he played at all. And he finally played, like, his 11th grade year of high school. So it was crazy just to see him, you know, develop being as good as he was in high school and to come to college. Like, people didn't think he was going to be able to make an impact on the Alabama team. So I feel like he 
grown and matured a lot. He's gotten bigger, faster, and it's hard to tackle him now. Like even at practice, like with him being small and some people's eyes, like I tried to hit him one day with just my shoulder, and I was like, like he just kind of bounced off and kept running. So I was like, he definitely got solid though, and I feel like, you know, he developed his game to a whole nother level. I think it was the Missouri game when he caught the little screen and yeah, I was like, yeah, that's the rules I know basically. <laughs>